Another German homeschooling family was ripped apart when an army of German police officers and social workers surrounded the home of the Wunderlichs near Frankfurt a few weeks ago and took away their children. Their only crime was homeschooling. After an international outcry and a court hearing, the Wunderlich children were returned. But this was not a victory for homeschooling or parents' rights in Germany, because the Wunderlichs have been forced to send their children to school, and they still do not have custody. Michael Donnelly with the Homeschool Legal Defense Association. Well, this is a victory for a totalitarian regime that is bent on dictating to parents what they can and can't do with their children regarding their education. The German government acts obsessed with stamping out homeschooling, believing it's both child abuse and subversive. The chief organ of state control of families in Germany is the Jugendamt, or youth office. It is a nationwide system of local child and family agencies that has extraordinary power. German court documents provided to CBN News show that the Jugendamt is allowed to lie in court and ignore judges' orders. No German parent wants to run afoul of the Jugendamt or youth office. Once the Jugendamt decides your family has a problem, it can ruin your family. When we filmed the Wunderlich family last year, the children were obviously happy and well-adjusted and loved their parents. If you could see them before, they are so joyful. The children have, they have a paradise here. If you look out in our garden and say, can do their interests and say they have a very happy life. But the Jugendamt has taken plenty of happy and healthy children too. The arbitrary and capricious way the Jugendamt moves against good families has led some to the conclusion that the system amounts to a child trafficking operation in which a steady supply of children is needed to make sure foster homes, social workers and court appointed experts get paid. There is a system of persons, of uh, social workers, of teachers, of psychotherapists who live on children being taken out of the family. We call it industry. Carola Storm Knirsch is a psychologist who has worked for the Jugendamt on several cases. There are homes with empty beds and they need children. And they call the Jugendamt and ask, hello, do you have a child for us? They destroy humanity. Dirk and Petra Wunderlich believe that in their case, God intervened and turned the judge's heart to return their children. But it's not at all clear how long they will have them. Their attorney, Andreas Vogt. In some months, in, in, in a few months, uh, the court will look, have a look on the family and then will decide if uh, what's, what will happen with custody in general. Mike Donnelly says the international community needs to put more pressure on Germany to respect human rights. Today, Russia has more educational freedom than Germany. We are very concerned about Germany's behavior in this area. We're going to continue to put pressure on Germany to make them change the way they treat parents. What they're doing is wrong. They're persecuting parents who choose to educate their children at home, and they need to stop doing that. But for now, the Wunderlich children are just happy to be home. Dale Hurd, CBN News.